Hello, Fearless Leader. Peter Scott here, founder of the Fearless Coach Academy and author of the best-selling book, The Fearless Mindset. I'm shooting this video for Bill Simons, a member inside our Earn 100K Coaching Facebook group who asked the question, um, I'm considering hiring a salesperson. What should I pay them? How should I compensate them? So in this video, I'm gonna share with you when you should hire a salesperson and what you should pay them. So keep it rolling. So when should you hire your very first salesperson as you grow your coaching business? For most of you watching this video right now, it is not yet time to hire a salesperson. And Bill, for you who asked the question, that could also be for you. It depends on where you're at in your coaching business. Here's why you want to hire a salesperson. You want to hire a salesperson when you have reached capacity in terms of the amount of calls that you can actually uh, field, the amount of leads that are coming in, the amount of conversations that are, are being had. When you've reached capacity, when you've had not dozens, but hundreds of calls that you've already done, then it's time for you to hire a salesperson. If you haven't yet had hundreds of strategy sessions yourself, then it's not time. And the reason is not because I want you to waste your time and do these strategy sessions. The reason is because that is one of the most valuable market research opportunities is to get on the phone with a prospective client and find out what is their painful problem? What are the goals that they have? What are the obstacles that are slowing them down and stopping them? If you don't know those of your ideal client, it is not time for you to go hire a salesperson to do these calls. So Bill, number one, my question for you is how many calls have you had? And for you watching this, go ahead and comment below. Let me know how many strategy sessions on average do you have every single week? If you have less than, let's say, 10 to 20 strategy sessions a week, it is not time for you to hire a salesperson. Because by you interviewing those people, you get to become better at your craft. In the beginning, if you don't have a huge brand yet, and you're not a celebrity like somebody like Tony Robbins or Brendan Bouchard, then people aren't gonna trust a salesperson from you yet. Now as you grow, you'll reach a certain point where you can't help but have salespeople that are handling these calls. But if you're just starting out and you haven't earned six figures yet in your coaching business, it is not time to hire that person. Now, when is the time? So, like I said, the time to hire that person is when you've already had hundreds of sales calls, you know uh, the fears and the frustrations, the wants and the aspirations of your ideal client. Now the way to do this is that before you hire a salesperson, the first thing I'd have you implement would be what I call a brainstorm call. So a brainstorm call is instead of hopping on the phone for, with somebody for 45 minutes to an hour, what I'd want you to do is hop on for just 10 to 15 minutes and say, hey, I'm super excited you booked in your call with me and filled out the application. Uh, I only have about 15 minutes for this call and I've got a call right after this, so we've got to stick to time, is that okay? And they'll say yes. Say, cool, the purpose of this call is to work out if or how I can help you. Uh, if I can't, then I'll respectfully um, you know, steer you in the right direction and refer you somewhere else. But if I can, then we'll book in another time to work out how I can help you. Now the reason why, Bill, and for the rest of you watching this, that's such an important strategy, is because it allows you to, instead of wasting time with people that are not qualified, wasting time with people that are not committed enough or are not willing to become resourceful enough to hire you as your coach, instead of hopping on the phone with them for 45 minutes or an hour, you just hop on for 10 minutes. And you work out really quickly if or how you can help them and if they're a fit for your coaching. Then if they are, then you invite them into the strategy session. So I would say that when hiring a salesperson, what you wanna do, Bill, is you first want to do the calls yourself. Then you wanna implement the brainstorm call and delegate that first brainstorm call to your salesperson. So they are the ones who do, does the 15 minute call for you up front 
And then if they're qualified, they get a full 45 minute call with you. That positions you even more as an expert, more than you already are. Then when you've had so many leads coming in and you're having 20, 30, 50 strategy sessions a week, then it's time to bring in a salesperson, right? And they're doing the brainstorm call. They're also doing the actual strategy session, the enrollment call. Now, no, you know, most likely your conversion rate could drop a little bit. So if you have somebody else doing it, maybe you're converting at 70%, maybe they're gonna start by converting at 20%. And then you can increase them to 30%, 40%, 50% once you really train them on how to do that. Now, to answer your last question, what do you pay them? In the beginning, uh, this should be someone who you are paying based on performance. So I would say it should be a commission and uh, a great industry standard would be paying them 20%. So let's say that you know your, uh, your offer is a $10,000 offer for every client that they sign, they get $2,000 for every client that they sign. That's how to incentivize your salespeople to master their craft enroll more clients because they get paid more and you earn more income. So that's my answer to Bill's question, which is I think I'm ready to hire a salesperson. When should I do it and what should I charge? Uh, if you got value from this call, then give me a like. Go ahead and like this video. Uh, leave me a comment below and let me know how many strategy sessions are you having a week? Is it one? Is it three? Is it five? Is it 10? Is it more than that? How many strategy sessions are you having a week? And if you found this video to be valuable, then share it with at least three coaches that you know want to make more of an impact and earn more income in their coaching business. This is Peter Scott reminding you to be here, act now, and fear less.